Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about a very important yet very simple feature in Salesforce Lightning and um, I'm going to start talking about list views in Lightning. So recently viewed there's nothing much you can do because it's a standard list view which is the by default it lands to the recently viewed whichever tabs you land into um, but I'm going to show you how to create a new list view as well as how to uh, use all these little buttons here and how how to add a list view chart as well. So let's get started. Um, click new and I'm going to say my opportunities very basic list view just like in classic or if even if you're not familiar with classic that's okay. Um, so I'm saying my opportunities and you could add more filter if you want to. I would like to filter on stage so let's say stage equals I only want to see qualification, prospecting, negotiation, closed one, closed last um, only these actually and hit done and save and the values will obviously change here based on the filter now um, how to choose which fields you want to show here so for that there is a select fields to display that's what we'll be using to change those so if I want to remove this out from here that's how you do it so that's let's see what else we have new clone rename you can rename your list views from here sharing settings so um, classic has more options in terms of who can see it um, you also can share it with portal users or other public groups but lightning is still not there yet we only can share with whether you can see it or all users can see it. Um, if you want to make more advanced sharing settings, you'll have to switch to Salesforce Classic, all right? And that's one of the limitations in Salesforce Lightning, but I'm pretty sure it will get there in next few releases. Um, and we have added list filters. That means what are the filters you want to edit? We are already on that page right now. And select fields to display and delete, okay? So these are different list view controls. And here uh, is a table or Kanban view. So Lightning also introduced a really cool Kanban view if you want to see where your opportunities are lying, right? This is how you see it. And it also gets sorted out between two different record types. So I have a record type of type record type. So this is how you see everything. And since I have selected only these, oops. Sorry, let's go back. All right, so going back to my opportunities and let's go back to the table view. And what are these? So these are inline edit feature in Lightning, which is disabled, but you can enable it. Um, and to be able to use this inline edit feature, your opportunities have to be filtered by a certain record type otherwise you cannot so all these records all these opportunities should be of same record type okay what that means is I'm going to filter it out by record type as well so record type opportunity record type equals I'm going to say sales hit done save it And um, let's close this out. That's how you close it out. And now if you see here, you all now have uh, inline editing options. So you can basically edit it right here. Testing two, three, four, and you can basically enter and save. So for inline editing to be enabled, you will need to filter it on the record type. That's a, you can make a note of that. Now let's go talk about the charts. So Salesforce Lightning, this is a new feature in Lightning only and this is not available in Classic so I want to make sure you take advantage of this. Um, basically if you have um, your users who need reports or charts or need graphic representation of what you have you can use this feature right. Um, what it basically does is it applies this chart features to your um, list view. 
and by default Salesforce Git provides you three different types of charts pipeline by account, pipeline by stage and fiscal period right here so by stage so what it does is it is kind of filtering it by stage and summing up the amount so I'll show you how to create your own uh, chart so pipeline by stage is useful because let's say you want to have a quick glance of where your opportunities are right and what's the amount for them or you can also select different let's say horizontal bar chart so it tells you um, you have 11k on closed one and prospecting is zero because these values if you see here they don't have amount and let's see if I add an amount there 59,000 save it and then you might need to refresh it and if you see here the 59 closed one and I have 59 I put 590,000 all right so I have 590,000 and closed one 11,200 so that's kind of cool right you can actually show your charts right there um, now how to create your own chart so click on this and um, new chart so for example I want to see what are the opportunities which are closing next month so I'm going to say op ops closing next month and I'm saying all right I want to know some of amounts which are closing next next month uh, I'm going to say the filter date will be close date I'm sorry the grouping field will be close date and uh, now one important thing to keep in mind is that for your chart to actually show closing next month it should have that filter in the list view itself you cannot add filter in the views uh, chart separately it has to come from the list view so let's go and change our filters in list views um, to make sure I get enough data I'm going to change it to all opportunities but it could be different in your org and I'm going to add another filter called close date equals next month I can literally type type next month and this should work um, and click save and let's hope we get some data we have some data now and let's see how our chart looks like there you go so I can actually look at this chart and say all right next month I have three opportunities that are closing 2.4 million 895k 413k so it kind of helps you to be on top of what's happening um, with all the opportunities and it it's not only limited to opportunities you could use this feature for any objects you could use it for accounts for example you want to see what are hot or what are the ratings of different accounts you have in your org so you can actually use that and one thing to notice is that the chart does not change based on what list view you are on so basically if you are on accounts by rating and by industry is the default one given to you and I created accounts by rating right so even though I am on different if I change this list views you can still um, go to that same chart and you can still see accounts by rating so basically if you create a chart once it will be applied to all the list views right so you are in accounts by rating and you can see seven two one and one so I have seven not specified which is bad <laughs> two cold account and one hot and one warm account for my accounts but if I change it to all accounts I get some other values right so it is very much easier for you to create um, charts and the list views are also important because you can add them directly to your home page um, by adding list view on your home page so let's say if you have top top um, rating accounts you want to show them on the home page right when they log in you can do so by using list view components and uh, I have other tutorial on also how to add different uh, actions on the list view so please go check that out and I hope that was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions around charts or list view filters in general thank you so much for watching